friends, I'm Trish with Crafting Cousins. Thank you so much for stopping by our channel today. If you're new here, we hope that you're going to see something you like and that you'll hit that subscribe button and come back often. And if you're a returning friend, thank you so much for your support. Today's video is going to be a little different. I am going to be comparing some vinyl. We get lots of questions about our favorite vinyl, the one that we use most, and what the difference are in the vinyls. So we thought that it could be fun to just show you what the difference are between some of the vinyls that are used most often. We would like to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video, but please rest assured that all of my opinions will be my honest opinions and are not biased in any way. The first vinyl that we're going to start off comparing is the Cricut Smart Vinyl. This is the vinyl that comes in rolls. You can see I only have a small piece of this left because I use it in a lot of my projects. And we're going to compare it to the vinyl that you get from Hobby Lobby. It used to be called Paper Studio, but they have changed the name to 405. So I thought that we would give their rebranding a new chance. I used to use a lot of the Paper Studio vinyl, but the quality of it was not great and it just seemed to get worse and worse. I started off using this when I was doing craft shows because it was cheaper, not gonna lie, but my dad always said you get what you pay for and I definitely learned that with the Paper Studio vinyl. Whenever I would use it for stencils, it did not want to stick down well, and it would bleed under, so I had a lot of touch-up, which took time, or else I had to do extra steps of putting down Mod Podge over it and letting that dry, or putting down another layer of the base color of my paint and letting that dry, and again, you're wasting time. Whenever I would use the vinyl for lettering on my signs that I took to shows, once they were outside for a little bit and it started getting warm, the vinyl would peel off and I just had enough and I gave away all the Paper Studio vinyl I had left and I invested in Cricut vinyl. Now, since they have come out with the Smart vinyl, I love it. It weeds so easily. There is no problems with getting it to weed. It sticks well and I never have any issues with it when I use it as a stencil or whenever I use it for lettering in my projects. But... Now that Paper Studio has rebranded to 405, we're going to give it another chance. I did only get one sheet of this because I didn't want to invest a lot in it if I didn't like it. And it did only cost $1.49 for that one sheet. So we're going to give it a fair shot. Now, I will say one of the things that I really like about the Cricut vinyl is that I don't have to use a mat. That saves me money because I was going through a lot of mats because I use my Cricut a lot. I make projects to sell. So not having to have a mat is great for me. Now, if I'm using a small piece of vinyl, I do still have to have a mat. So I keep them on hand. That's no problem. And we will be using one to test the Hobby Lobby vinyl today. I don't think I'll be using it for my Cricut. I'm going to show you how easily it works without one since I have a big enough piece that I don't have to have one. In the second part of our video, we're going to switch machines. We are going to test out my Cricut Joy machine. I love this machine. I have done a whole video on it before showing how it is portable. You can take it to craft shows with you and it is a game changer. It allows you to be able to easily personalize items on site. You don't have to have a lot of space for it. You can set it up on a small table. It uses Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, so it is perfect to be able to take with you to shows. It comes, or actually you can purchase separately this little bag that you can put it in and it is perfect to be able to carry it with it has space in the back to put my little mat and if I'm using my smart vinyl I don't have to have it but especially it shows I'm making one piece at the time so I will end up cutting my vinyl and my mat is perfect to be able to use those small pieces now for it I'm actually going to compare it with the vinyl that you get from the Dollar Tree I did go by and my store did not have a lot of options for this they did not have any black vinyl at all but I honestly don't think the color matters we are going to try this 
vinyl that they make to fit the Cricut Joy against the Cricut Joy vinyl that is smart vinyl. And this one's black, but again, I don't think that it's going to make a difference. We're also going to test that mat. I saw that my store had these little masks that they make that they sell for $1.25. So I want to compare this mat to the mat that is made for the Cricut Joy and see if it's as good. Now, I did plan to also get some of the tools. I've seen the tools at the Dollar Tree before, but mine did not have any in stock, so I was not able to get any. But we will test this vinyl. We're going to test that mat, and we're going to see where we stand. So let's hop over to the video and see how they did, and I'll give you my opinions at the end. We're going to start off by clicking on our Cricut icon, and that's going to open up our design space. I always hit that little box in the middle and make it as big as possible so it's easy to see. And then we're going to click on New Project up in the right-hand corner, and I'm going to go over to Images on the left, and I'm going to type in Wildflowers. I decided that's what I want to use to compare these with. I like that it has these small lines. It's going to give you an idea of intricate details and how well the vinyl holds up to those. We'll pull it into our design space, then I'm going to click on the corner and I just pull in until I get it to three and a half inches. I want to use this exact same size on all four of my cuts. We'll click make it and for the first one we're going to do it without the mat because we're going to be using our smart vinyl with our Cricut Maker. I'm going to click on smart vinyl permanent and I do more pressure. Then we're going to go over to our machine and I load in my vinyl and I click the button to make it start cutting. Now you can see I don't have to use a mat with this. It feeds in so easily and it's going to do what it needs to do and then we'll be able to take it over and weed it out. Now once that's cut, we're going to go back to our Cricut Design Space. I'm going to do one more cut for this and this time we will be using a mat and we'll click on that browse materials and we're going to go down and look for vinyl. Now the closest thing I could find was matte vinyl so that's what we're going to use and we're going to do more pressure. Then we're going to go back to our machine. This time you see that the vinyl is stuck down to a mat. I feed the mat in click the blinking button and let it cut. Now we're going to do this two more times, but we're going to do it with our Joy. I'm going to change my machine to Joy and click Make It. For the first one, we're going to do it on the mat because we are going to do the Dollar Tree vinyl. We'll go up and I'm going to type in vinyl and then I'm going to choose premium vinyl. That was the best that I could find for this and we'll do more pressure. And now I'm going to use this Dollar Tree mat and vinyl. Now the mat was pretty sticky but you can see that it kept popping up up there in the corner and that does I think cause an issue. I was able to get it stuck down but then once it started cutting you can see how the vinyl is just kind of tearing up. It's lifting up as it's cutting. I know this is not going to be a good thing but I did let it finish cutting and then once this has cut on this I'm going to actually try the Cricut mat with the same vinyl and just see if it does any better. Now you can see that the Cricut is stronger so it's holding it down. I don't have any popping up but once it starts cutting I have that same issue. It's still lifting up which tells me that the vinyl is not as sticky and it's not staying down to its backing as well. Now that we have that cut, we're going to go and we're going to do that same design with our Cricut Smart Vinyl. And again, I didn't have to use a mat. You saw me just load it in and it starts cutting and you can already see the difference. I have those nice clean cuts. Nothing's lifting out. We're going to finish this and then we'll start weeding. Okay, so I'm going to use these two pieces and we're going to start with the material from Hobby Lobby and from Cricut. Now you can tell the difference if you're feeling them. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but this is really thin. It's it, very thin and this is thicker. That's what I love about this smart vinyl. It is thicker. It has nice cuts and it just seems to work so much better. Now just looking at this, it doesn't look like it's changed much from the days when it was Paper Studio, but let's try weeding it and then transferring it and see how it does. 
Now it seems to be weeding really well. I'll be honest, when I used to use the Paper Studio vinyl, it didn't always weed well. And I ended up losing a lot of products trying to weed it out. And this seems to be working fine. It seems to be pulling out um, no problem. We'll do these little pieces. Okay, so that actually weeded a lot easier than I thought it would. There was a couple of pieces that didn't want to come out really well, but I was able to pop them out in the end, and that's really what matters. So for weeding, I mean, it did a good job, a lot better than I expected it to. Now let's do our Cricut vinyl. That right there was just so much easier already, and I know it's because it's a thicker vinyl, I absolutely love how the Smart Vinyl with Cricut weeds, it just comes off so easy and I never have any issues with it. Let's go on and finish weeding it and just make sure that all these little pieces are going to come off easily as well. And that was the Cricut. Now to me, the Cricut did weed easier, and I think it's because it's a thicker material and it has such nice cuts that it just weeds easier, which saves me time. But this one didn't have any problems either, so I guess it's a good option if you prefer to use it, but let's see how it sticks. I'm going to take my transfer tape, and we're going to start with the Cricut. I'm just going to press it down. I'll use my little spatula, go over it, make sure that I press all the air bubbles out. Then we're just going to flip it over and give it a good burnishing, making sure that we get it pressed down really well. And then we can lift our backing and our, and our vinyl should stay in place. And it did. It worked really well. So I'm going to use these unfinished wood rounds. I thought that this would be a fair comparison because I won't have to worry about if the paint was thicker on one or drier on one. We're just gonna use unfinished. And I'm going to press it down. And then I'll use my spatula and go over and press out any wrinkles, air bubbles, making sure that everything stuck well. And then we should be able to lift our transfer tape and our project stays in place. Now, I don't see any lifting. I don't have any issues. I didn't have any issues taking my tape off. And that was one of the problems that I used to have with Paper Studio. And quite honestly, that was why I decided to do it second was because I was going to use the tape that had already been used so it wouldn't be so sticky and tear. But that's not a fair comparison, is it? So I am going to cut another piece of transfer tape. That way we know that it is a fair comparison. We'll peel off our backing and then I'm just going to press it down on top of my design. We'll use our spatula and go over making sure that we get everything pressed down, get all the wrinkles and bubbles out. I'm going to flip it over and this this backing is so thin, I can actually see the design through it. I don't know if you can see that on camera. And it actually has little cut marks on the back of the um, backing, which that always worries me. Um, we'll see. Okay, so that's not coming off. Let's try it again. We will make sure that we press everything down really well. Okay, let's try coming from the top. There we go. All right. All right, it peeled off really easily. So we will place it down onto our project. And I'll use my spatula, making sure that I get all the wrinkles and bubbles out, get everything pressed down really well. And then we will lift, nope, let's go from the top. There we go. So if I'm going from the top, it seems to work. 
um, if you go to the smaller pieces to the bigger pieces and I have noticed that that happens sometimes so I'll give it grace it does seem to be stuck down really well so I mean I can look at the vinyl in person and I can see the difference you can honestly feel and see the quality of the Cricut vinyl and this is just a little flatter it sticks down but it does seem to be stuck down really well so I mean they are a comparable now but I don't see me changing back to paper studio it's just given me too many problems in the past I would have one roll that was good and then I would get another roll that was not good and I ended up wasting the vinyl and messing up my projects and I would have to spend so much time having to repair them that I just don't trust it to use if I'm going to be making projects to sell which is what I typically do if you are using it at home in your personal projects though and you want to give it a shot it does look like that this is comparable at least now that was the flat sheet that was not the roll so I don't know if you get it on a roll if it's going to be any different but I have to say I'm pretty impressed with what it did I will still stick with my Cricut Smart Vinyl though for all the reasons I mentioned earlier I just like the fact that I don't have to use a mat it is thicker it saves me time when I'm weeding it I never have had an issue with being able to paint over it and it bleeding under because it sticks so well and since I know that it works so well for me that is what I will stick with but if you're doing a personal project at home then you know this may be a good option for you as well now let's move on to the pieces that we cut with our Cricut Joy and we are going to test the Cricut vinyl against the Dollar Tree vinyl and guys this piece here we're gonna take oh no okay so yeah I mean this says it all that's totally useless to me um wow yeah, that'll take some time to clean off it tore my project up so there was no weeding that that's yeah that's not good um let's see if we can instead of trying to take this off of the mat and tearing it up because i know my cricut mat is stronger than that i am going to try to weed it while it's still on the mat so I am going to catch my vinyl here on the edge and we will pull it up yeah see it didn't cut well and pieces are coming up Ugh. okay so maybe let's see I might be able to save it we'll try this just seems like a lot of work The little pieces on the sides did not cut so that they could be weeded. So we're just going to have to go with it like it is. Okay, so that's the best I can do. These little tiny pieces on the sides of this did not cut so that they could be weeded. It just wasn't going to work. So let's try our tape and I am going to use the tape that I used for the first two they've both been used once so they have the same amount of stickiness so let's just try that and we will press it down use our spatula making sure that we get all the wrinkles and bubbles out I am going to try to peel this off my mat Um, <laughs> well, there we go. I'm going to have a booger trying to get it completely off my mat because it's stuck just like it did to the other one. So that's going to be a lot of cleanup. And again, not something that I'm real happy about. Um, we will stick this down onto our board. And then we will try to pull up our tape and see if it will stay. I'm getting as much pressure as I can behind it to try to make it stick to the board and now we will peel it off and it's stuck I mean it, it it's ugh. yeah it's <laughs> 
it's bubbled up right there it doesn't want to stick I mean it is stuck down again if you feel like dealing with the hassle of having to try to clean up your mat and weed it out and stuff then this might work fine for personal projects I would not use this there we go I would not use this for a project um, that so it's stuck down I mean it has some places where it pulled and it um, and it warped it so maybe the intricate designs aren't the best designs for this but it does stick I, I give it that it's sticking really well um, now I can peel it up with my thumbnail let's try this one this one was the one from Hobby Lobby and I can peel it up but it's a lot harder so I just don't know once it got in heat if it would peel off or not um, but it does stick I mean it sticks it doesn't look great it's pulled in several places where those little pieces had popped up earlier I can see now that they were stuck down on top of the regular vinyl because I'm able to pull them off. Um, not my favorite. Definitely not something I want to have to clean up after. But we tried it. Okay, now let's try the Smart Vinyl that is made for the Cricut Joy. And you can see already that it weaves so much easier just pulled right off no problem whatsoever now let me finish weeding it okay that went so much faster y'all the, the quality of this is just so much better and it looks better it's not pulled anywhere it just looks really good now let's use our tape we'll press this down use our Cricut spatula go over this making sure that we get our wrinkles and bubbles out then we'll flip it over and we're gonna do the same thing so we got that off now we will stick it down use our spatula get out any wrinkles or bubbles that are in there and then we're going to remove our tape and it stuck down really well y'all i just like the quality better of the smart vinyl i love the smart vinyl i can't lie about that it has saved so many of my projects but i can't tell a lie this 405 vinyl from hobby lobby did really well it stuck down um it seems to be holding the vinyl from the dollar tree <laughs> it stuck down but i can see a couple places where it's already starting to peel back up um this may have purposes that it can be used for that are just fine if you're using it for personal projects then that would be great you can use it um but for my projects that i sell i think i'm going to stick with my cricut vinyl but i did want to give y'all an honest review and show you the difference and you see that while the cricut does weed a lot easier it cuts a lot easier it's a lot thicker the other two the Hobby Lobby vinyl cuts really well. It did weed really easily and it seems to be sticking well. I don't know how it would do in the heat. And then for the Dollar Tree vinyl, I mean, it's just not worth it to me to have to clean up this kind of mess from my mats. Um, my mats are not going to last as long if I'm constantly having to peel this kind of stuff off the back of it. So the Dollar Tree is just not worth it for me. Well, there you have it. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you will tune in on Friday. We're going to have another video for you guys. And until then, have a great week. Bye, y'all. Thank you so much for watching today. If you saw something you liked, we hope you'll give us a big thumbs up. 
Leave us a comment and let us know what you think and if you have any suggestions. We just love hearing from y'all and it really does help our channel grow. We are also over on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest and would love it if you would click the link below and join us over there as well. If you enjoyed this episode, check out these videos for even more DIY inspiration. Bye, y'all.